Welcome back to my channel. I am so so excited to be vlogging for you guys. I have so many life updates I'm finally back. I took a little two week long break. You guys saw my last video. It was pre-filmed Now I get to say that I am officially married. I'm so happy still on cloud nine I'm not wearing my rings right now because I'm in the middle of getting ready and only getting them dirty But I'll show you guys that in a sec But yes, I thought I would update you do a little life update tell you guys everything that has been going on I am in the middle of of getting ready as you guys can see and I thought I would update you guys while I try some new makeup I've gotten some PR over the last couple of weeks and I still haven't tried some of it So I thought we could do a little first impressions try it together. So first is from milk makeup They sent over their new hydro grip plus glow primer and this is supposed to be like a shiny little primer and Charlie is trying to get into the door right now but yes, this is their iconic um, hydro grip primer but in a little glowy form as you guys can see how stunning is that packaging i'll show you guys what the original looks like normal hydro primer and then this is their new glowy one so this would have been perfect like in the summer and it says to also put some on the back of your hand instead of just putting a string on the face i'm not sure why so let's just do like a little i don't want too much so maybe like half a pump literally the tiniest amount because i don't know how pigmented this thing is wow it's very 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 pretty if you guys can see that okay what i've been picking up on camera because i'm so pale i'm gonna like focus it more towards my cheeks for a little like highlight moment it feels exactly like their normal hydro grip primer but with some shimmer so we'll see what it looks like on put a little bit right here and we'll just do like a little bit of the excess on the forehead right here. Very, very pretty. Now we're going to go in with House Labs Foundation. One of my favorites. The wedding was about two weeks ago at this point. It was seriously like the best day of my life to marry my best friend. We have been together for this year, nine years. So we've been together since we were in high school. And it was just the most perfect day ever. I can fully 100% say that literally nothing went wrong, which is so, so nice. I know a lot of people have like regrets or something can go wrong. Thankfully, nothing did. Everything was so successful for many reasons because we did have really good vendors, but also for my peace of mind and my state of mind. I knew I just wasn't gonna stress about anything. Um, and that really like worked out. Yeah, and I just wanna do like a nice sit down video about like tips and tricks I've learned throughout this whole wedding um, process to help you guys if you guys are 2024 brides or you guys are brides for next year, which I'm assuming because I know a lot of people like to get married in the summer and the summer is practically over. I feel like everyone got married this year. It was like the year I've seen so many people get married and engaged, just so crazy. So I'm just so, so happy. Not got any professional photos yet. That I will say the turnaround time is a little slow for that. It's 12 weeks, which is a little slow but it's okay they can take their time and perfect them and edit the photos but when i do get those photos back which clearly will not be like anytime soon soon i will definitely share some photos on my instagram so make sure you're following me on instagram i'm always posting on there always posting um my daily life stories updating you guys on there posting fun little like makeup reels all that fun stuff so Definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not. Also TikTok as well. I'm just a little newer on TikTok. It was just seriously the best, most magical day ever. I felt like a princess and it was just so amazing. Of course, I cried like several, several times. Not during the reception, which is like basically like the party and the dinner and everything, but for the ceremony. Reading my vows when my husband, which is so crazy to say, when my husband was reading his vows to me, everyone was a mess. Everyone was crying. Um, at the ceremony, all our family and friends, he cried a little as well. Don't tell him I told you guys, but he did cry a little bit as well. And he never cries like for anything. It was just so, so special. I totally just forgot blush because I've been talking. I just did my concealer real fast. Anyways, let's do liquid blush real quick. So I got these blushes from Giorgio Armani. So crazy to get a PR package from them. So thank you so much to Armani Beauty for sending these over. So they sent three. I also did a little um, swatching over on my Instagram. They sent Delicate Moi, Flaming Red, and Rosy Peach. I tried Rosy Peach the other day. I wanna try Delicate Moi together. So this is this color, Delicate Moi. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love the applicator as well. 
this one's definitely giving more like fall vibes and i'm here for it also how do you guys feel about fall are you ready for it or do you still miss summer let me know let's blend this out oh she a little pigmented this color is very very pink rosy kind of and if it's one a brush i've traveled this brush so many times to blend out your liquid blush it's this one by sephora collection it's called pro blush 93 it blends out like a dream. Like, look at that. It was so easy to blend out. Seamlessly beautiful. I highly recommend it. As far as the honeymoon, we're actually not going um, right away for two reasons. First reason being, like, that's just a lot to go, like, right away to your honeymoon. If you do, like, more props to you. Like, that's amazing. But, like, I want to relax and just, like, settle in and just, like, be on that cloud nine and just like not go 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 and having to like go on a honeymoon and like all that stuff and that means if it were to be like pretty much right after you would have to have all that like planned like everything planned and that was just like a lot to do along with the wedding that's the first thing so in my opinion i always thought it was a little unrealistic in movies when they go like literally right away or like the week or two after but like i said if you can do that and if you have the brain power and willpower to do that then like you go girl because that is amazing but personally for us we were like no we need to chill a little bit so we're going in a couple months but also the reason why we're going in a couple months is also for logistic reasons also the place we're going to is tropical unless you guys know where it's at when it's a little closer there on season is our off season like it's the opposite so right now i live in california i'm in the u.s right now is the end of september we're obviously heading into fall going heading into winter so right now even though it's still a little warm here it's like monsoon tropical thunderstorm season over there so if we were to go like right now or even in the next month or two it would not be a nice vacation at all it would be tropical thunderstorms rainy gloomy every single day so it's kind of like the opposite weather where i'm at we just thought that literally went hand in hand so perfect that we get a couple months to rest we already have all the main points of our honeymoon booked it's just like a couple like restaurants like things like that you know like little tiny things that we can finish up by the time it's our winter it'll be their summer so it just like worked out perfectly let's use a new lippy this is from ysl they sent some ysl like love shine lipsticks over um but let's do a little lip liner first this is just pillow talk this one has a little bit of color to it as you guys can see how gorgeous is that color this one is in 44 and it's their lipstick how pretty it adds like a beautiful flush of color and it's like juicy and it still feels like a lip balm because it is kind of a lip balm so i love that this is the face okay just finished up my hair i just did a quick little curl slash like blowout moment super super easy but right now i just need to get going i'm starving i have to run a couple errands return some things Johnson perfume i'm almost done with this one this is why sell libre the original one i only have a little bit left i definitely want to rebuy a new one this is one of my favorite ones for and also the spray's not doing that well anymore um it's one of my favorite ones for fall it smells so good if you guys haven't smelled this smell it and buy it it's my favorite for fall i want to show you guys my little ring stack we have my engagement ring and of course my wedding band i made sure when i was picking my wedding band that i would love it on its own and i'll show you guys later it stands out so much on its own it's beautiful it's diamond pavés both of my rings as you guys can see go pretty much all the way in they call this an extended version because a lot of the time the pavé will only be halfway um but this one extends like 25% more. I didn't want a pave diamond that went all the way 360 just because you obviously grab onto things and hold onto things and I didn't want it to hurt the diamonds. So I went for the extended version of more diamonds, but not all the way, if that makes any sense. So she is officially a wife. She's a married woman. I'm excited for this new era of mine. I mean, like I said, I've been with my husband. It's still so crazy to say he was my boyfriend for seven years fiance for two years and now husband it feels like you know we've always been married because we've been together since high school but now that it's official it's just I'm still on cloud nine and it was just the most amazing day so anyways i am now gonna head out the door i'll take you guys along with me we'll go to trader joe's all that fun stuff and we'll see where the day takes us Okay, just finished Trader Joe's. It was so crazy in there. I didn't expect that at all. So just finished Trader Joe's and now I'm gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts to go have a coffee. I am craving one. I'm Dunkin' Donuts. Back from Trader Joe's and Dunkin' Donuts, I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul. First of all, I bought these. These are little spicy tempura seaweed snacks. I've heard so many people talk about these. I wanna do a little taste test after. See if those are yummy. Got some 
bananas, of course. Got some low sodium chicken broth. Always need that on hand. We're also out of almond butter. So I got some almond butter. I was at Whole Foods the other day and I was trying to find another new almond butter that had really clean ingredients. And ironically, all the Whole Foods one, they had a bunch of different like oils, palm oils in it. And you're not supposed to like have that type of stuff in your peanut butter. It should be super, super natural for clean peanut butter. So this one literally only has two ingredients. It's almonds and sea salt. So I'm just gonna continue buying it at Trader Joe's. That one is so, so yummy. I got two things of tomatoes because I want to make like a spicy rigatoni pasta next week. So I got organic tomatoes that are diced with no salt added. And then I got this one that is just a plain tomato sauce that the recipe called for. Red pepper flakes, so got some red pepper flakes. And then we were also out of dried basil. So got those two for the pasta and obviously just for other stuff. Got one little clove of garlic, fresh garlic for the pasta. Bread, ooh, bread of course. And then also grab these little things of dark chocolates. I wanna make like those healthy Snickers. I think I made it one vlog last year. If not, I'll show you guys again, but it was like that viral TikTok recipe like last year where you get like little dates, you split them in half, you put almond butter or peanut butter in it, and then you dip them in dark chocolate with some sea salt on top. So I wanna remake that again, it's so good. So I thought these were little perfect little bars to do them with. And this time I'm trying dark instead of milk. Got some organic baby spinach, chicken breast for sandwiches for lunch, Parmesan cheese for the pasta once again. And then same thing with the pasta, some organic heavy whipping cream. Wow, that's a mouthful to say. Blueberries for breakfast and parfaits. I love buying this, I've shown this so many times. The soy chorizo, it's a vegan chorizo, scrambled up with eggs, some tortillas, this one's super yummy. And then this one was new, it looked really interesting. These are the scallion pancakes, Korean scallion pancakes. I love this whenever I go to Korean restaurants or KDBQ or tofu soup places. I thought this looked so yummy and I was also hungry when I was shopping, so. I'll update you guys if that is any good. And the last thing I got are some Italian sausages, spicy for the pasta for next week. So that is everything that I got. I got my usual coffee, a medium iced latte with, I switched it up a little bit. I used to do two butter pecan, one vanilla. These days I've been doing two vanilla, one butter pecan. It practically tastes the same, but for lunchy lunch, all I got was one donut, a pumpkin donut, because I'm so excited for fall and all the fall stuff. So I got one donut and one croissant for lunch. So I'm gonna put this all away and then we will try this on camera together. Okay, just put everything away. Let's try these. They say they are crispy seaweed coated with tempura batter. Let's give it a little try. Mmm, smells like seaweed. I love anything seaweed. This is what they, okay, you can't even see that. Interesting. Smells like seaweed. Mmm. Wow, that is so good. That reminds me of something. That reminds me of like those spicy ramen snacks. You know what you're talking about where you like squish them and you put the powder in it. It's actually really spicy, very crunchy as well. Wow, that's good. Like all types of chips though, literally the bag goes to here. As if I just ate like a lot of them. That's so crazy. These are really good. I really recommend them. Now let's try my donut from Dunkin' Donuts. We're doing a little mini mukbang over here. I've never had the pumpkin donut from Dunkin' before. I've only ever had it from Krispy Kreme a long time ago. So let's give this a try. It's more of like a cake batter type of donut. Orange looking. It smells really, really yummy. Mm. It's so moist, exactly like pumpkin spice. It has like a tiny amount of glaze on it. I love it, so good. I'm gonna finish lunch and I'll talk to you guys later. I just got a package and I wanted to show you guys. I got some new Adidas Sambas. You guys know how obsessed I am with my OG original Samba. So I picked up another shade. I'm in a size men's five US six and this is the exact like serial number, whatever, if you guys want to get the same color, but I am wearing them right now. They are so cute. I want like a new fall color. So these are navy blue with cream stripe. And the Adidas logo is like in gold. It's so freaking cute. I am obsessed with them. I love them. They're gonna look so cute with like leggings. I got them off of the Adidas website directly. They are, I think, $100. Um, they're like the most comfy pair of shoes I own. I'm obsessed with the Sambas. I was debating between the normal black one. I think it's black and white. And I just thought the black looked a little too harsh. 
so i still wanted something like a darker fall tennis shoe and i love navy blue like it's one of my favorite colors i know it's kind of a weird color to like but i've always liked navy blue when i saw these navy blue ones i was like yes that is exactly the pair that i want i love the brown lining i love how it's not a stark white that it's a cream color i will say if you want some sambas definitely size down like a whole size down. i do not know why they run so big i am usually a seven or seven and a half and i'm in a woman's six in these let me know what other colorways you guys like for sambas leave them down below i want to get more <laughs> next day i am headed out the door right now i want to give you guys a quick ootd it literally feels like it's still summer today it's like 85 almost 90 degrees i'm wearing this little top from abercrombie it's so cute i love like the shape of the sleeves shorts are old from urban outfitters and then i'm probably just gonna wear i'm not gonna wear my new sambas that i got yesterday because i feel like that's kind of like it doesn't work with this outfit. I think I'll wear my old sambas. Our favorite place, Medicino Farms. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I got the Impossible Taco Salad. And then we also got the Von Me. It looks so, so good. Very focusing. And it's like my favorite salad ever. me why i have like a new sock obsession lately like these aren't really socks but hello kitty that's so cute these strawberry ones oh, strawberry shortcake oh my gosh adorable and those halloween ones were so cute i have like a newfound sock obsession it's dangerous but oh my god these look so comfy this little sock thing I have like these ruffle ones that I got last winter that were super cute. I actually think they were these. Yeah, these are the ones I got for my Uggs last year. They're so cute and I wear them all the time. They're getting kind of dingy. Maybe I'll buy another pair, but wow, they have so many cute fall ones. Back home, I want to do a quick Target haul of, of what I picked up. First of all, I've got these Ollie Sleep Melatonin Little Gummies. I've never tried Ollie before, let alone these melatonin gummies. I'm not getting into melatonin because like I don't want to eat it if I don't have to. But they, once in a great while, I do get some like restless, like sleepless nights. And for my wedding weekend, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I talked about how I tried Lemmy for the first time. Kourtney Kardashian's brand for her gummies. And I really did like them. They're just really expensive for no reason compared to other brands. And I want to try out different brands to see which one I like better. So I thought I would try these Ollie ones. Let me know if you guys have tried these from Ollie or which brand you like for melatonin little gummies and then i also picked up some floss picks gotta always have these on hand just the target brand and then i picked up this this i'm like so excited for it's so funny this is from elf and it's the dual pencil sharpener this is what it looks like i have been on the hunt for a good pencil lip liner eyeliner sharpener i use the one from nars and guys it literally sucks it's like triple the price i've had it for a couple years every time it ruins my lip liners it just doesn't sharpen them well at all so i thought let me just try an elf one i feel like elf is super good fingers crossed that this one's actually good so i thought i would try this one out got some thank you cards and envelopes this is a 50 count for our wedding guests that we want to send thank you cards out for i was going to order them for minted literally everything that we got for our wedding was fermented the place cards were fermented invitations the save the dates itinerary card was fermented literally everything is fermented yeah but i just wanted to do something simple and grab something real quick and target's obviously like a lot cheaper than minted so these were actually really really cute they have these like little like flowers on them i like how it's black and white super simple just says thank you and i believe there's an area where you can write it also got some clothes i picked up these cute little halloween socks I don't know if you guys can see the print well. It has some ghosts, pumpkins, a little witch hat, and like these little stars. I think these are so adorable. I had to pick them up. I thought they would look so cute with some leggings and like Ugg boots for the winter. And this bright orange color is kind of a lot, but obviously it'll just like look like this 
and peek out of your Ugg boots like this. So I thought that was so cute. These were $4. And then these clothes are mine. They're my husband's. He loves these. These are the All in Motion brand. It's like their exercise brand. He loves this brand so much. It's so comparable to Lululemon. And Lululemon is like not even quadruple the price. It's like five times the price. This was $20. Really cute. Okay, I don't know why I'm putting it on myself as if this is mine, but this is like a navy color. He already has so many of these. Grabbed another one. Um, they're just really great exercise shirts, gym shirts. Loves wearing these. Another black long sleeve. And then this is a black short sleeve one. And these are literally $12. So you can't beat the price. He has so many Lululemon, but he actually always goes back to these Target ones and prefers them better, which says a lot. So if you have your boyfriend, your husband, dad, brother, anything, highly recommend this all in motion brand. I'll try to find these exact ones and link them down below. They're so soft. They're so buttery. Good morning, you guys. It is a beautiful day. It was super gloomy this morning when I woke up, but now the sun is like coming in. I just finished getting ready and I received the most amazing PR package. I wanted to show you guys real quick. I am doing like a review on Instagram. I think it'll be up later on in the week. So follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all that fun stuff. You guys know that the pulling jelly tints like went viral a couple months ago. Everyone and their moms was talking about them and I never got my hands on it. Every time I went to Sephora, it was practically sold out and I could just never get my hands on it and i think afterwards i kind of just forgot about them honestly so i've never tried them and i have been so intrigued and they were so sweet they sent over their four original shades and two brand new shades it also came with a brush as well which is so cool i like unbox that and everything in that reel so go check it out but i'm wearing it right now if you guys can tell i am wearing fresh on this cheek and then i'm wearing this one which i think is called splash on this cheek so I may look a little crazy when I go out in public. Hopefully no one can tell I'm wearing two different shades. I put like a topper on it to kind of blend it in together. I might do a little more before I go out, but I don't care. I'll show you guys this one fresh that I use. I don't know how they get it to look like jelly. So this one was already opened. Like, are you joking me? I can totally see why people were like trying to like eat them and it looked like really satisfying. There's no scent to it. Just kind of like a light like spa scent if I had to say, but definitely like no scent. They're so cute. It also says to make sure you close it tightly. But thank you so much for Wake Up for sending this over. And yes, right now I am going to finish some other things and post another reel. I'm meeting my friend later on for brunch, but that's in a little bit of a while. So yeah, that is just the update. Wanted to say good morning. About to leave the house now. Want to show you guys a quick OOTD. Blue jeans to kind of match. And then I am wearing my little heart socks that I love so much that I bring out during the fall winter. And then I think I'm just gonna wear some Uggs. It's getting a little hotter, but I don't think it's gonna get too, too hot. My friend and I were getting brunch and then I think we're gonna go shopping a little bit. Um, so that should be very fun. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, I am doing my first Pilates class tomorrow. I am so excited, but also really nervous. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks in Pilates, what I should look out for. I've never even done like a structured class before. I obviously go to the gym, but that's obviously not a structured class. I've never done like yoga or anything with a bunch of people. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm also excited. But the class that I'm taking tomorrow is an intro to Pilates. Like it's a slow down version where the instructor goes slow with you and explains everything. And it's not like a fast paced normal class, obviously, which I think is really cool that this studio does that. So it's an intro class and I'm also going with my friend as well. So I'm happy that she's going with me so I can just have like a buddy to be with. I'm really excited to start this new journey with Pilates. Hopefully I like it. If I don't like it and I don't like love it, then you know, We'll see, but I think I will. So tomorrow's my first class and I'm super nervous. So wish me luck. That is that. I need to head out the door. Um, I will see you guys at brunch. Wait, 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 wait. What do you like about this girl? I mean, there's like a lot of things. I'd probably start with. I like the way she smiles. She got me staring for a while. Got me staring for a while. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's our conversation. She's my favorite notification. She knows how to dress for special occasions She got me thinking life could be better These songs start to feel like love letters I should tell her now Hi guys, I am back home. I had such a fun little girlfriend day. I want to show you guys what I picked up at the mall. As you saw, we went to Sephora, of course, duh. And not only did I get one lippy, I got two lippies. Of course, I am such a lip junkie. I love lip glosses, lip balms, anything to do with lips, I love. First up, I picked up a lip glowy balm from Laneige. 
And as you can see by the packaging that it is like a winter themed one. I'm surprised they're already dropping like their winter themed ones when we're still kind of like in fall, obviously. And this one is in the scent candy cane. Oh my gosh. I love anything minty when it comes to lip balms. I feel like it's just extra soothing and just gives you that like extra boost you need in your lips. So I knew I was gonna buy this this season, but I didn't realize they would come out with this like super early. How cute is the freaking packaging? So, so adorable. Their lip glowy balms are obviously super, super good. And this one is just simply a clear balm, nothing crazy. But the fact that it smelled like peppermint was just amazing. So of course I had to get it. Can never have too many clear balms. And I highly recommend this one if you guys love minty lip balms. I love this one. Before we walked out the door, we saw that this Sephora that we went to had all the Ola Hendrickson Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatments, all of them in stock, which was so shocking because if you know, you know. Suni Lee, the Olympic gymnast, sold these out because that's what she was wearing basically every single day. She sold these out and they were literally gone in all Sephora's and Ulta's and it was super hard to get. I was debating between the original one, which is just a clear one, and then the strawberry one but because i just got the laneige peppermint one that's clear i thought i would go for the strawberry one that has a little bit of like a pink tint to it and plus like i love anything strawberry and these smell so delicious like the summer fridays ones don't smell at all i don't think they have any scent which is cool but these things smell super yummy like makes you want to like eat it so this is the packaging right here let me know if you guys have tried any of the other shades and which ones you would recommend. This is what she looks like. Super cute packaging. I have heard some crazy things about this that people prefer this over the road ones, over the summer Fridays ones. So let's put some on right now and just see how it goes. It feels very soft on the lips, very moisturizing. Mm, it smells like a strawberry like smoothie, a strawberry shortcake. You guys have to smell these in person. It smells so good. Just like a subtle flush of color. I feel like these would look really good with like a lip liner as well. It's moisturizing. It's on the thicker side, but in the best way. That is all that I got from Sephora and the mall. I did just go downstairs to go pick up a package from Lululemon that I've been waiting for. As you guys know, I told you earlier that I'm starting Pilates. So I'm trying to get like more cuter workout clothes, workout sets, and trying to build up my collection again. So I got two things, both in color, which is like, who is she? You guys know I'm always wearing like dark colors. So I'll open up this one first. This one I got on sale, which was super cool. So this one is a little top. This one is called the Nulu Crewneck Cropped T-shirt. And I got it in a size medium. Not sure what color this is, but it's beautiful. Blue Lemon's Nulu line is so, so freaking soft. Look how cute this little crop top is. I got it in a size medium because people said it ran really, really big and super tight. So I was kind of scared about that. This color is also so gorgeous. This is kind of what it looks like on. So cute. The last thing I got from Lululemon, I have been wanting this color for so long in this specific jacket. So y'all know the famous jackets that people have been blowing up the last like two years, the Define Cropped Jacket Nulu once again. So I got my hands on one in this gorgeous shade. This one, I know the shade name. This one is in Strawberry Milkshake. Like, look how stunning this color is it is like the most softest baby pink color and in the most amazing jacket ever i actually don't own a defined jacket i know everyone in their moms talks about these i finally got my hands on one and i'm so proud of myself for not getting black for my first one you know i'll get a black one in the future but i'm so glad that i like ventured out and got like a really cute color i'm so into baby pink right now i love it so much i have a pair of biker shorts that i wear all the time from aritzia that are baby pink so i'm in my like light baby pink era right now and i'm obsessed with it you guys know these jackets snatch your waist they make you look so good they have a nice little like collar thing right here i also got mine in a size six definitely size up these i've heard run so tight and as i'm looking at it i'm so glad i got a size six instead of a size four because you want these to snatch you but they honestly run a little small so just keep that in mind i can't wait to wear these to pilates i'm not sure if i'll work out in it because i think i'll get really hot but at least like before and after and obviously i can wear that any other day too so that is what i got from lululemon and the mall i really hope you guys enjoyed this little mini haul enjoy this vlog subscribe if you haven't already i post videos like this every single week and would love for you guys to subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok and i'll see you guys in my next video bye life could be better these songs start to feel like love letters I should tell her now what I ever